we're going to look at a couple of uses of radioactivity. And I found this kind of a cute picture uh, online. And the idea here is these are x-rays, which does not count as radioactivity. Now, uh, some of the radioactive particles can be used as an x-ray uh, to go through material and learn about them inside. So it's similar to uh, things that are going to be used for radio radioactivity. One of the ideas that everybody has around their house is smoke detectors. Now, smoke detectors have inside of them a small amount of americium-241. And this little pellet, this little button that's on this picture, is what is inside uh, every smoke detector. In fact, they're saying that this is be the, like the only uh, radioactive material you can actually go and buy uh, in a grocery store. So this is a tiny little button, and what it does is inside the chamber here, that causes the air to be ionized. And since the air is ionized, the battery that goes through here causes a circuit to flow through. If a little bit of smoke gets in this chamber, it will uh, uh, link up to all the ions, you know, gather all the ions, and break the circuit, and that's when the alarm bell goes off. Now, one of the other ideas for uh, using radioactivity is in thickness control. So if you have some kind of a sheet material like uh, paper or something going through, then they have a little source of beta particles. And those beta particles, you know, go through to a detector. And if too many get through, that means that this is uh, a little bit too thin, and it tells the rollers to separate from each other. Okay, if uh, not enough of them are getting through, that means it's too thick, and it tells the, the detector, you know, tells the uh, rollers to go a little closer to each other. So this can be done very, very, very quickly as the uh, material is, is gone through the, the uh, rollers. Now, sterilizing. There are foods that, you know, if you let them go just, you know, uh, naturally, there are tiny bacteria on there, and those will um, spoil the food very quickly. So they sterilize this with gamma rays. Now, gamma rays will go through the food and cause very little ionization, so it doesn't really hurt the food. And uh, there are, you know, simple, there was a big uh, uh, deal earlier this year about putting labels on the food to make sure that it, people know that it's been uh, uh, sterilized. Now, this can also be used for um, materials, you know, that you want to sterilize. Now, some things like metal objects, you can go ahead and just, you know, heat those really up, heat them up under high pressure, uh, an autoclave, and sterilize them. But things like plastic objects, and especially plastic objects that are in a sealed package, you can still sterilize these with these gamma rays and they'll be uh, perfectly uh, clean. Okay, radioactive dating, carbon-14. In every person, you know, a lot of people have carbon-12, but there's also a little bit of carbon-14, tiny, tiny, tiny fraction, about, you know, less than 1%. Now, as uh, objects are living, then you're constantly taking in carbon and giving off carbon, so the amount of carbon-14 in your body stays the same. Then after you die, then the carbon-14, since this is radioactive, that's going to get less and less and less and less over time. And so if you know how much carbon-12 there is, you know how much carbon-14 there should be to start. And by figuring out how much there actually is, you can calculate the age of the uh, object. Now the half-life for carbon-14 is 5,730 years. So you can use that for uh, living objects, or once living objects. Radioactive tracers. Okay, one of the really common radioactive tracers is something called technetium-99, and it's used for medical purposes. So technetium-99 is good because it gives a gamma emitter, and again, the gamma does not uh, cause very many uh, uh, ionizations, so it's fairly safe to have in there. You can use it to uh, look for a blocked kidney. You know, sometimes they'll take a iodine, you know, iodine-123, and use that as a, uh, as a radioactive tracer. And what happens is, you know, it would go and they would put uh, radioactive, you know, Geiger counters over the two kidneys and see where things, you know, whether there's any kind of blockages or not. Now, you can also use that for pipelines. 
it would be very expensive to go through and dig up a pipe. If, if you know there's a leak, to go and digging up that pipe is a very tough thing to do because it you know goes in long ways. So what they do is put a little bit of uh, radioactive material in the water going through the pipe, and then they can come by with a, a Geiger tube and see where is there an increase in the radioactivity, and so they know that that is where the the break is, and then they can just dig up this one little section and fix that. Checking wells. This is where I was saying that uh, uh, you can use radioactivity kind of like you would an x-ray. And in this case, uh, you can go through and use something that will uh, give off uh, gammas and then place a piece of photographic film on the other side of a weld. Because you, from the outside it fun, look fine, but on the inside you might see little uh, inconsistencies or you might see little bubbles and then you could say okay well that's a place here's a weak place weak place and you can go back and redo uh, the weld so that's a good way it's kind of like a x-ray for metals things that x-ray would not get through cancer treatment what happens here is that it's uh, very difficult for cancer cells to repair themselves so if you put like some gamma rays into a person's body then it will uh, kill the cells but the cancer cells you know cannot repair themselves where the healthy cells can so it's it's a pretty tough treatment but it will you know hopefully you have to get the amount just right to get enough to completely kill the cancer cells but not so much that you are damaging other tissues as you go through um, this is good for some places like maybe a, a breast cancer might be some place where you could do a radiation but if you had something like a lung cancer that would be tough to do because you would be uh, going through the person's body and, and damaging a lot of healthy cells as well as the uh, cancerous cells. The source I got from this was uh, from this website.